Hello, goaltending students. My name is Guillaume Duclair. Welcome to Goalie Smarts. Talk shit, you trying to start what? Chirping is a fundamental part of hockey. Even in the early days of the NHL, players were talking about each other's mothers, sisters, girlfriends. They would make fun of you for wearing last year's leather bags of hay, and they would call you a pussy if you tried to protect your face. Being a good chirper can be a big advantage in a game. It's a psychological trick. If two people are in a confrontation and one of them walks away thinking this random player had a sexual relationship with his mother, who won that battle? Chirping is not just about insults though. Chirping is a broad category of all the different noises you can make with your face. This includes insults, but it also includes loud and distracting noises or false information opponents think came from another teammate and not a loudmouth goalie trying to compensate for his mediocre skills by not shutting the fuck up. This is something I call a functional chirp. Shoot it! In this episode of Goalie Smarts, I'm going to cover all of these categories and how to have very sharp shit-talking skills. If you follow all these instructions carefully, you should be able to win a game using only your mouth. This is Goalie Smarts episode 59, How to Chirp. Class one, insult chirps. This is the most commonly used tactic in every league. Unless you know people on the other team though, you're not going to be able to dig too deep. So the best place to start would be to look at them and make fun of their immediate appearance. Is that a string hanging out of a guy's pants because hockey equipment has a lot of loose straps? Of course not. That's a tampon with an extra long string carelessly hanging around because this guy is one classy broad. And if you can't make fun of their equipment or their immediate appearance, well that just means you've had sex with their mother, sister, girlfriend, or any other woman in their life that is significant. And it just so happens that this particular game is the time you decided to let them know. So not only have you been intimate with all of their family members, if they're on the other team, that also makes them a pedophile. Look at this guy. He's a pedophile and you banged his sister. I guess technically that means that you've had sex with a pedophile sister, but whatever. It's not her fault he fucks with kids at the bus stop. Class two, distraction chirps. This category requires much less creativity than the last one. Any random noise will do, as long as it's loud and annoying. Squaw! Blow, 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 blow. Animal noises are especially effective on any player, regardless of their IQ. The smart players will think, what the fuck is wrong with this guy? He needs medical attention. And the dumb players will think there's actually an animal in the ring. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Class three, manipulative chirps. This is where things are going to start to get a lot more complex. As long as you're gonna be spouting random bullshit at everyone around you, why not have a little bit of strategy behind it? If a team has good communication skills, they will often yell things like, take a look, or you got time. How about when the puck is in your zone, instead of accusing people of molesting children, you try to pose as one of these helpful voices and see if they fall for it. You got time. Oh my God, look out. Step four, write material beforehand. Coming to each game prepared like a comedian at an open mic is just one more step you can take to make sure that you humiliate the opposing team. I'm sure you've thought of many devastating chirps five minutes after the interaction ended. Don't let that happen again. Whenever a thought pops into your head, halt everything you're doing and write down your piece of comedic genius and use it the next time. Once you've built up a solid five minutes, bring your notebook to a game like a comedian at anyone can get on stage night and recite your canned lines when the time is right. Hey man, 2013 called, they want their P4s back. Oh yeah? Well, you're a bitch. Thank you for watching the 59th episode of Goalie Smarts with Guillaume Duclair. This episode was suggested by Bubba Smith. If you have an idea for the next episode, comment it below. Otherwise, I'm Guillaume Duclair, and that's the end of the video, and I'm out, bitches. See you later, alligators.